Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Grounded. Uh, as you can see, I am back here again underneath the picnic table at our up-and-coming base. Uh, last time we got quite a bit of stuff moved over from uh, our oak tree base. Um, and uh, as promised this time, I have been working hard. Um, and uh, things look a little bit different inside. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I basically just done what I promised this time, but it is definitely a change from when you last saw things here. Um, I've got all of the walls in, so now we can actually uh, come up on the wall and we are able to do a full lap on on this thing and so the courtyard is more or less secure um, right up here I was still having bugs get in because like right here the dirt is actually still a little bit taller than the wall um, that'll be fixed soon uh, I don't think that uh, long term at least in this tower part we're gonna be having the grass palisade um, or not palisade uh, like kind of I think that's like crenellations um, uh, up here, but um, I at least wanted to put that in to stop bugs from walking through the base. So for now, we at least do have a sealed in area. Um, we've got a couple of ramps up here by the main entrance. Uh, we do have another sort of main entrance out the side where we can uh, head out to kind of our watery area to get clay and uh, sort of head over to the um, toward the upper yard. It's one bee is kind of coming concerningly close. He's been flying around the last little bit. Um, we also have kind of our, we have lots of our little windows that we can peek out and if we need to we can use our crossbow to help defend and uh, our, our sneaky little back door if we need to come out here and I've been using a lot of rocks over toward the sandbox over there uh, to be um, building up the walls as well uh, and then kind of one last little ramp up over here for now. Uh, so you can see I've already put down a couple more blueprints. Um, I think that we may end up uh, building out this full square a little bit higher for our tower. Um, and then starting to build it with uh, either some combination of uh, stems and grass uh, to actually take us up toward the picnic table. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the update on the base. Uh, but that's not what we're here for today. Today, I promised you all that we would actually explore the picnic table and hopefully explore the sandbox a bit. Um, and that is what I intend to do. Um, oh yeah, this was the other thing. I've been still storing a lot of our grass and stems, so I made a bunch more pallets and we will be making a better place to store all of those pallets eventually. But again, that is not a task for today. Um, so... What is our task for today and for right now is to get prepared for our adventure. Um, we've got a decent amount of gear. Um, I think that uh, our, our tools are in good enough shape. Um, I've been using like the axe. I know it was like at like 50% durability. Um, I don't think we're going to need it a whole lot. And it's been... Um, uh, that's been kind of the, all of the usage that I've had with chopping, like, all of the grass out of here, a bunch of, um, like, grass and stems around the area, plus fighting off a decent amount of bugs with it, like, it, it's, it's been holding up pretty well, so I think we're fine with it. Um, so yeah, I think our, our, for durability, we're fine. Our ladybug stuff is getting a little bit weak, um, but hopefully we're going to be able to get some antlion gear soon, so I think we don't worry about that too much. What we definitely need are some more arrows. I have not been able to recover uh, nearly as many of my arrows that I've been using as I really should, 
Um, we should also uh, make some more bandages, and I still need to make some smoothies. I was able to make another run back to the base and grab a bunch of our mite fuzz. Um, so hopefully we can make some fuzz on the rocks, although I'm also now just realizing I don't know that I have clay and pebblets left over, so I may have to do a quick, uh, additional mining trip. Um, but that's okay, that'll be worth it. Um, but yeah, so let's start out with making arrows, because that will be... That'll be very important. Uh, let's make 25. How many does that get us up to? 25 plus 20. Okay. Can I make... Feather arrow. Five of them. Let's make... Five more to get an even 50. That's two full stacks. That's pretty good. Yeah, I feel good about that. Um, Alright, let's get our materials put back away. Uh, yeah, that is one slight problem. I think I am going to keep this mint out. We need to keep eating mint to get our... Um, uh, what's it called? My brain is just not working today. Uh, the fresh defense stats up. Um, I'm sorry, Ant, you cannot come in. Uh, right now, if I look at our fresh defense, I think I got it up to level 2. Uh, we do need to get it up to level 3, so we are gonna have to keep snacking on these mints as we get hungry. Um, okay. So, health. Bandages. Um, I'm gonna craft a bunch and we can store some of these. Uh, I, I have so much plant fiber after all of the chopping that I've done. Um, that should be good. And we can leave some of these bandages. Looks like I can carry 15 in a stack, so that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll leave some of those bandages behind... Oh! Battle begins. Infected bugs are coming. Well, we get to uh, see how our base holds up. I'm glad that I've got good walls now. I think those ladybugs are coming for us. I did just make a trip to the haze, actually. because I needed, uh, more crow feather. So we're gonna see how well our defenses hold up. Okay, it would help if I stopped shooting them. Just going out there. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. I really wish I had smoothies. Okay, well. You know what? I I I deserve that. Oh my gosh, they are destroying everything! Is that all of you? Uh, 
Uh, well, at least they didn't get to my chests. Um, is there more payback coming? Bye, spy. That's just a black ant. Oh boy, that is not great. Where is the attack though? Oh no! Was it just that extra weevil? Oh no, it's another ladybug. Come on. I should also should have been healing this whole time. Yeah, yeah. I'll get my payback on their payback, though. Alright, well, that really did not go well. Alright, so... We need to definitely obviously repair our walls and then, oh, this is just tragic. And then maybe the pebblet turrets could help for next time. And then getting, getting some traps, I think, would be a good idea. At least some spike traps. Ugh. Yeah, that, that hurts to see. Alright, let's clean this up just a touch. All right, well, we at least have kind of the base walls. I'll worry about the grass part later, and we can build a repair tool later too to actually fix up the damaged bits. And uh, that should be pretty good. All right, so let's see. All of my extra rocks can get put away. Um, ah, I keep accidentally putting my bandages away. Um, alright, but... That means now we've got our dagger and a backup club uh, for weapons. We've got our crossbow with 50 arrows, uh, axe, hammer, shovel, shield, and torch. We've got both smoothies and bandages for healing. That looks pretty good. Uh, the last things that I think that we need are some silk rope for getting from the picnic table over to the sandbox. 
And I like to make a lean-to, uh, which takes three clover leaves and two sprigs. Uh, right at the top of the zip line to the sandbox. Uh, just because it takes a while, as you will see, uh, to get all the way to the top of the picnic table. And so if we die in the sandbox and need to quickly make a run back to it, uh, it's not a quick run back to it. So. I believe we should be all set now, all geared up, and it is picnic table time. Oh, uh, but I fell off the shovel, so let's try that again. Got, got a little overexcited there. Ooh, the one thing I don't have is extra food. We might find some, but I think I want to have those mints with me. And up we go. So yeah, at some point we'll have to build like a little ladder or something to be able to get to that gum easier. Here we are. So you'll notice there's these splinters here, but we can't get those until we get a better... Ooh, and rust, but we can't do that until we have better stuff. So, yeah, there's there's definitely some good things up here, but we'll need better tools. Yeah. But crow feathers, we can get now. Get all these little food bits. Um, I think Oh, how do I just whiff that? These guys are going to be a pain as I try to cross, so we're just going to take them out. And I'm annoyed at myself for losing a couple arrows already, but that's... That's okay. That's why we made 50. Luckily, our bow takes him out pretty quick. Gonna go ahead and get healing a little bit here. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, I managed to lose seven arrows. That was sloppy work. But crossing this little thing is like the riskiest part of this whole venture. And I don't want to get launched off of here. But we can just bonk that and make ourselves a nice little bridge. I do want to make sure, though, that we're not missing anything else. Uh, on this shelf. Or on this bench. Rather. than all those bees down there. Ooh, there is another crow feather. Hmm. Oh! Our bees were cool. We're cool. See, I'm less worried about these bees because I have room to run around if it comes to a fight. Over there on that little platform that I had to cross, it was a little more precarious. So I wanted to preemptively clear the way. Oof, thanks to that and uh, payback, my armor is not in the best shape. I also don't remember ever getting a warning that infected bugs were mad at me. Whereas, I'm pretty sure that the red ants are supposed to be mad at me and they never attacked. Chop up this billy hog. Everlasting hog stopper. What in the world? All right. Embiggening Logistics. Burgle. Work continues on the logistics of embiggening organic material. There are so many factors that elude us still. If there's one thing I do know, Burgle, it's that I, that I need that sweet, sweet java flowing. Brain bad when sip stop, W. <laughs> uh, mm, some mac and bees. Our inventory is already full. That is not great. Well, we just got more bandages, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. That'll help a bit. Um, Alright, any good quests? Haunt red soldier ants. We can do that. Uh, resource analyzer. Um, fresh billy hog bite. Let's analyze that. <laughs> can make human food. Uh, and let's analyze this bee fuzz. That's been on our to-do list for a while. Bee head mount. Alright. Okay, so what was... Then, the, um... Everlasting hog stopper. A source of infinite food? Wait, is that, that's say, oh, my dandelion is almost gone. I can just do that, and will that, like, keep me from getting hungry? If so, that is awesome. Oh, but while we're over here.
this is where we need to connect the zip line. Um, and then we can build that, and then now we would be able to zip over there. So this is also where I want us to build a... Um, a respawn point with this lean-to so that we can zip over there and then if we happen to perish Wow, this is so cool! Like a real-life Minotaurs and Myrmidons adventure! I feel like a real adventurer now! Oh, Pete. Taking a look. Poor, poor bees, just getting sleepy. No. I just want the hot dog, bee. He's done with me. Cool. Um, okay. Did I get everything off of this plate? I don't think I actually bee got up on onto this plate. I don't think that bee is on the lookout, Pete. That bee is passed out. Alright. Just gonna sneak up. Grab the cookie bit. Oh, I hear science. He's done with me. Cool. All right. Well, we'll worry about getting that science later. I don't want to deal with all those bees right now. Let's check out the maze. With scary bug men. Hmm. Well, there's some science for us. Some consolation science. Find one of the yeah is some fancy armor. Ooh, and there's lots of feathers up here. I did not remember that. Oh, but that one only had one bit. This is okay. This is our what our key goes to. Hey, let me in. There we go. Mega milk molar. Ooh, and all of the marble. Scabby, all of the quartzite, and a burgle chip. Um, I wonder if we can. Move this. Yeah. 
Okay, that's not gonna work. Will our... Hmm. Oh! It will. Okay. So, this is another thing like the, um... Like the clover. The four leaf clover that we found. That. Uh, go! That, you know, with, with this being a D20, that we want to get it. Up to the 20 side being up. Come on, man. These darn bees. This is doing, like, nothing to him, anyway. There we go. Alright, uh, let's get this bad boy back out. So close, okay. There we go. There we go, we got our coup de grace level two. So that gives us, basically it's our lucky, our lucky uh, skill since we were able to get our D20 onto 20. And uh, oh, I don't wanna deal with you. So I should really heal more. Ow. Didn't realize you were still coming after me. That was a weird amount of momentum there, B. Okay. All right, so our inventory is very full. So even if we go kill an ant lion, we like don't have enough inventory to keep it. Oh, and there's a milk molar down there. So we're just gonna go and yeah. see. I unequipped. I unequipped my. I unequipped. My dandelion tufts. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, now that I'm full health, can I survive that? This might be just a repeat death, so. Aha, it was not. I, I lost you. All right, well, we're gonna re-equip that. Let's get this milk molar. And is there anything else fun in here? Like any scabbies? Nope, just juice. And then access to some gum, but I don't think we're gonna deal with that right now. 
All right, so we're gonna run in here. And we're gonna drop off things. Okay. Um, oh, fall defense. That would have been handy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and eat that. And I think, even though that's cool, we're gonna put it away for now. Uh, oh, I should have researched these while we were up there. That's fine. We'll worry about doing more research later. Uh, equipment, equipment, equipment. Okay, that's all the stuff we want to keep on us. And then I need to grab my bandages again that I keep hot depositing. Alright, now, I know it's dark, but that's actually better for sandboxing. So, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing the thing again. We need to go ahead and just get our fresh defense up to level three. So we're going to go munch on some mints and then actually head out. That enough. Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, so let's head up to the top of the table and we are going to take our zip line and I'm lying again. We need a new dandelion tuft. One of these times, we're actually gonna make it. Alrighty. Well, here we are and here we go. Welcome to the sandbox. On the top of the crab red rocks, Tiny Pete looked out across the endless expanse of the dunes, dotted with the husks of long dead creatures. What treasure might await him in this sandy graveyard? I love Pete. All right, we must be prepared. Could there be monsters here? Wow, why are you climbing an umbrella? One ant lion down. Bring it. Yeah, come on, ugly. We're two for two. This is going surprisingly well, and I'm scared to say things like that. So there are other kinds of antlions. We can, we can see one kind of 
making a mess right there. attacking me. Is it just that antlion? Oh, yes it is. That's okay. We're not going to deal with it right now. knife doing some darn work okay i'm not really particularly interested in a wolf spider though we are gonna have to fight one one of these days but hey These ant lines down here, first of all, have a ton of health, but also fling ants at you, and it's very scary. Gotta keep your composure, keep strafing, and it's all good. Now it's gonna open up a hole. Fiat Lux. When I get, when I take its body. And then there's a cave under all of these. Oh my. Alright. So this one seems pretty safe, other than I hear that wolf spider, which is very scary. Alright, so that's our first spicy shards. This must be the underside of that box that we could see on the surface. Yeah. 
And much like the, um, uh, the ice, the ice caps, Better we can than eat these. I think. And that should give us a new mutation. Alright, so we're gonna carefully leave, because I don't know where that wolf spider is. And just keep looking around. Oh, gosh, that scared me. over there uh here let's take a drink of water no water filtration tablets needed oh he got me with the ant i cannot see this one at all where my other arrows are at and just aim above them. <laughs> this is when having one of the firefly helmets would be very handy. Got him. Uh, torch. Like, I am blind. <laughs> the sound of all those arrows is so funny. Got him all in one go. Alright, there might be more down here still. Is there water? Oh, there is! The soda's under here! Some salt? Let's go. Now, I don't think you can eat salt. We are getting all kinds of good resources, though. Regular pebble, I don't really care about that. Now, once again, the wolf spider has f 
found us, and I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe it's not. I don't know if that should be comforting or just concerning because I don't know where it is. That looks... yeah, that's beyond my abilities. Are they gonna fight? Why, why does he keep floating? That's that's not cool. Oh no no no! Don't look at me. Hey, I was rooting for you, buddy. Uh, for sure. All right, we cleared that one out. All right, I feel like one's got to come out of the regular ground here soon. All right, so there is a lab here, but we can't enter it yet. There's another one that needs that assistant manager key card. Big boy. The sun is coming out, which is nice for visibility. But we are gonna start sizzling soon. tools here. I've come across a decent amount of... Tier 3 items? Where's Angry Boy? Where's Angry Boy? Hmm. Alright, I guess there's another one down there. Yep. Ow! Yeah, those do hit. Yeah, too hot for me. 
Oh, I gotta get to the shade. Okay, status. I need one sharpshooter cardio. We'll get rid of that. Get that on. Okay. Alright, so we are gonna sizzle. We're just gonna sizzle slowly. Ow! This is why you explore the sandbox at night. Because you start rapidly losing health. Oh, but you can get in the shade like I'm at right now, and then you're okay. So we can run in this like antlion tunnel and we'll be good. That's why I wanted to just take him out real quick. Because it does offer a bit of safety. Well, that's not great. I'm really glad there's not an infected antlion. some of the salt. Alright, we're getting lots of antlion parts, which is good. We should be able to make a good amount of antlion gear once we get out of here. Right now we're in the salt mines. Dang, there's so much salt in here. gonna need to be repaired after this whole adventure. Okay, that's 
all clear. Alright, I think we got everything. Alright. Alright, we've got a lot of them. But we're just kind of coming to the water. <laughs> Normally they don't like to come into the water. Oh man, my gear is toast and the antlions finally got me. Um, ugh, I, well, okay. I was gonna say, I don't really want to repair my ladybug gear just to go grab my stuff and then make antlion gear. But, I also like to keep good gear, even if it's not the gear I'm gonna be using at the moment. So, I think that we're gonna go... repair our current armor regardless, and then go recover the backpack and, uh, basically head on back home. Oh, the meat can spoil on the f Oh, that change is sad. Um, uh, okay. So, what do I need? All right, we can repair all that. Can I repair you? I don't have a bone. That's a little bit tough. Uh, well, it is what it is. All right, back into the sandbox we go. I think to avoid sizzling, especially because I have really low health, uh, the bees kind of got me a little bit on the way up the, uh, this, the picnic table, not the sandbox. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk around the edge of the sandbox here and then just kind of jump in near the water there. And we'll grab our backpack from there. Then I'll have healing materials available to me and we should be fine to make our way out pretty safely. Cha-cha! It's burning! Ha-cha-cha! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, I haven't taken a look. You want for the beast here? Scanned the ant lines yet. There we go. We'll just cheese those guys a little bit real quick. Okay, what do we have here? 
Burgle, you watch enough cartoons to know the gag. The befuddled man puts his finger through an unexpected hole in the fabric. Well, that's me today. The chests that have been jingling around in my dice bag for a week to keep track of the shunken, drunken treasures jangle no more. Scattered to the four winds, the seven seas. Please keep an eye out. They could be anywhere. The perfect vessels for storing precious items. What a pity. W. Alrighty. Um, anything we want to get with milk molars? Nothing with regular ones. Megas. Um, I think I'm good on arrows because two stacks with 50 arrows until I lose them all shooting bees is pretty good for the moment. Um, probably regular resources will be good. If anything, even just for regular chests. Um, and then I think consumables might be next. Uh, cool. So let's grab this. A scientific breakthrough. And then it looks like we've got a couple of fancy schmancy rocks to grab over here. Right, I think that was all of them. Marble up here. I just don't want to get poked by the various succulents. It's just a pebblet. Did I? I feel like I'm missing one. Pebblet. Maybe it fell down here. Pebblet. Pebblet. Uh, maybe I got them all. We will see. But, while I'm at this research station, I'm gonna at least research a few things that I've got. Um, antlion stuff. That's probably the most important, so I can make my antlion gear. There's all the armor, and some repair glue. Let's do the pincers as well. There's the great sword. Oh, so close to level 10, and this should push us over. Uh, spicy is rare, so let's do that for the most. Leveling up spicy arrows. And leveling up and learning black ant stuff, all right. Which we already know all that. All right, so next time we get a charge, we can research salt, and then I know we still need to research uh, some mosquito bits and um, stuff like that that we have stored back at the base. Thirty-one antline parts. Jeez, we're doing pretty well on that. So the last thing over here is the castle, but we can't quite make it over to it just yet. And then I was going to do some treasure hunting, but the sun has already kind of gone down. So I think we might try to head home. Okay. Once we take out this ant lion by punching it to death. Yeah, that's right. All right. 
since our bone dagger is sadly toast. All right, well that's pretty darn good sandbox ex sandbox expedition. Alrighty, so I think our last thing to do here today might be to go ahead and craft some of our new gear. So, we should have somewhere in here our new sword. There it is. Uh, we just need some silk rope. Easy. Ant Lion Great Sword. I'm gonna craft that bad boy for sure. And then we need. Alright, so we're gonna need a boiling gland, some silk rope. Oh. Um. Okay, we can make the poncho. We're gonna go ahead and even put that on. And some. E fuzz. I need boiling gland, some bee fuzz, and silk rope. So, craft and equip. Raft and equip. There we go. There's our ant lion. Get up. Uh, hold up though. There we go. There's our ant lion. Get up. Complete with great sword. Not too shabby. That's a pretty darn successful outing. I am pretty pleased with our progress there. Obviously, I wish our, uh, our defense could have gone a little bit better at the beginning, but, eh, you know. It is what it is, but not only is that our, our, uh, our new gear, but that is, that is tier 3 equipment. That is our first tier 3 equipment of this run, if I am not mistaken. So, that is... That is some pretty darn good news. Um, and, uh, so... Oh, that is cool! The, um... Get a faster reload in combat with the, uh, the antlion gear. So, the sizzle protection, unless we're in the sandbox, is kind of eh. But the set bonus, if you're an archer, is actually pretty darn good. That's pretty cool. I am on board with that. So, anyway. Um... Yeah, we can go ahead and sleep through the night. Well, I think that that should do it for today. That seems like a pretty successful outing. Um, we'll have to go run that chip that we got on the picnic table back to Burgle here pretty soon. Um, but other than that, um, you know, that's a, a pretty complete sun. run of the, uh, of the picnic table, I think. And, um... And at least a, a good start there in the sandbox. Um, I think next time we're pretty ready, as far as I can tell, to really dive into the Black Ant Hill and the Black Ant Lab. Um, we basically ran right by um, the other entrance of the Black Ant Hill uh, today there in the sandbox. Um, you'll remember that from a few episodes back, um, where we dove in just a little bit just to get some of the first black ant parts, um, uh, to make, uh, like our, our shield here, for example, our shovel. Uh, the shovel was the, um, the critical part we needed. Um, but, um, we will need to dive further in there because in, uh, in the black ant lab, 
is not that chip is that chip right there our last super tech chip that burgle needs um in order to get us going um but yeah activating these couple of uh field stations here has also allowed us to survey a lot more of the yard um so that's great news um That's a lot of good progress today. That's very good. So yeah, um, my best guess, uh, unless something crazy happens, is that next time we'll be diving into that Black Ant Hill, doing the Black Ant Lab, and uh, we, uh, if all goes well, we might even be taking on a uh, taking on a boss in the assistant manager. So. This is, uh, this is all going quite well, and I am very excited. So hopefully you all are continuing to enjoy our grounded playthrough here. Um, I might try to do a little bit more cleaning up here of the, the base in the meantime and do some repairs on our uh, some of our injured structures here. Um, but yeah, um, if you all are uh, continuing to enjoy this series, be sure to drop a like on the video, uh, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications, and I will see you all very soon for our next episode. See ya!